Good morning everyone and welcome to this video about tips every beginning videographer should know. But first, coffee. And now we can start the video. I know, I know, calm down. So let's start off with number one and by far to me is probably the most important for any videographer. Use whatever you can. Anything is everything. When I say that, I mean use whatever camera you can at that time. Whatever camera you have in your possession, whether it's a phone or whether it's even a laptop. Believe it or not, when I first started shooting video, me and my cousin would make short sketches on his Mac that his school would loan him. We'd make complete edits out of just the Mac alone and setting the Mac with, with, with the webcam and setting it up on different positions to get different angles. It was terrible, but we wanted to film, so we did it. So whatever you have in your possession, just go film something. Whatever you want to use, I promise it's going to be enough. So when you move on, you go from that to a better camera and then a better camera and then a better camera. I didn't start with uh, my, my camera that I use now, which is the Sony a6500. You know, and that probably, this probably will not be my last camera. I probably will upgrade until then. Before that, I used the Canon XA30. Before that, I used the Canon T5i, which was a, you know, a good camera. It's probably about $500 with, you know, a lens and everything. But it's a beginner camera. But before all of that, I used a, ma a laptop, a webcam that probably has 480p. That's probably the highest resolution it went to. So just use what you can and just go out and film. Doesn't matter. Number two. Sorry. This is a personal preference, but to me, this is a big deal. Do not go to school. Teach yourself. Save money for yourself. Instead of going and spending 50000 80000 on a film school that think they can teach you about film don't do it because they can't teach you film film comes from you and that sounds so cheesy i know but you have to want to make films you have to want to go out and 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 shoot something in the blazing hot but just because you want that shot you'll sweat and you'll you'll even bleed for it you'll get down on your hands and knees and get all dirty but you want that shot but you have to want that you have to want to go home and edit for six hours to make a two minute video, you have to want that. You cannot learn that from school. That's a personal one. You can go to school if you like. There are amazing schools that can get you hands on. If you have the money, if you want to go to school, by all means do it, but personal preference, spend it on yourself. Get better equipment, travel more, do things that can benefit you and not just that you think might benefit you. So there's something to think on. Number three, <laughs> film whatever you can. Experience is experience. When I first started out, we would film any skit that we could ever think of. Even now, I shoot a lot of weddings. I do a lot of wedding videography and I love it. That's mainly my business. But people will come up to me and ask me if I can film this or film that. Like for instance, I had an opportunity to film a commercial for a local school company. Never shot anything for schools really, like professionally shot things for schools. And I said yes because I wanted to shoot, I wanted to push my boundaries and see what I can make of myself, so I did it, and it turned out great. You know, it could be better, of course, because it's my first time doing one, but that's the whole point. You need to push yourself. You need to say yes to everything, because you don't know exactly what you want every time. You don't know what you want when you first start out fi filming. You want to film everything you can. My latest video, I filmed a water slide video for my, my church, and n never filmed water slides, but decided to film one day and wanted to go out and film so that's what we filmed and it was amazing I love doing it and 
Never knew I'd like doing that kind of videography, but it was amazing. I loved it. So film what you can, go outside, make a little edit of your backyard, make a little edit of your room, make a little edit of coffee like I just did. It's real simple, you don't have to make it this big process, just, just shoot. You don't have to light everything up, you don't have to mic everything up. Take your camera and just film whatever you can. Number four. Learn the basics. That's a very broad term, but when you start shooting, you're gonna wanna just jump into it and just start grabbing a camera and just and just filming and putting it on auto. That can be good for some things, but most things, if you're wanting to do something semi-professional, you do not want to just run and shoot. What you want to do is understand what you're holding in your hand, whether I'm holding this camera, this camera, or this camera. Before I clicked record on any of these cameras, I understood the basics of these cameras. I understood how they worked. I understood their menus, their screens, everything. So I knew what I was doing before I did it, if that makes any sense. One big thing I want you to take from this section, number four, is to know what your exposure is, to know what ISO is, to know all this like shutter speed, what f-stop is, all these things. If you're shooting on a, a mirrorless or a DSLR, understand what you're doing and and care about what you're doing a lot of people just want to shoot and just put it out there and doesn't matter what they do understand what filming is and understand what you're filming to to put heart in it and to teach yourself and to show that hey I understand what I'm doing and that's how you get a better shot if you understand your camera and understand how you're working with it you're going to get a better outcome I promise you because before I started knowing all these details my, my footage did not look as good as it looks now. So that's number four. Take it or leave it. There's a lot more I could explain to, but I'm gonna keep it simple for right now. It's all right. Number five. five. Don't repeat yourself in your films. Keep growing. Sorry, keep growing. Backwards. You don't wanna repeat yourself too much if you get comfortable shooting for like, for instance, me, when I shoot weddings, you know, when I first started, I, I, I shot my first wedding and then shot my second one. And by the third one, I was like, okay, this is how I want it laid out. This is how I want to do it. I want to shoot this and then shoot that. And this is how I want to edit it. And it got repetitive. And people don't notice it, but I do. And you want to take a different approach for every single video. If you start repeating yourself and it gets repetitive, you're going to get bored with it and not going to want to do it anymore. And people's going to catch on. But you want it to make it diversified you want diversity in your videos Bing. but you want to keep it fresh you want to keep growing you want to keep moving on you want to keep learning new editing skills you don't want to just use crossfade and dip to black you need to learn transitions you need to learn text and title animations you need you want to learn you need to learn all these things if you want to be a videographer or a filmmaker you have to keep pushing yourself and keep growing and moving on to bigger and better things so, I think that's it. That was five tips. Uh, I know there could be a lot more, but I tried to keep it as simple as possible for anybody who's interested in being a videographer. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Uh, I enjoyed making it, and I enjoy making these types of videos. Let me know if you guys enjoy them. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make more about skating or music or filming. Let me know. I would love to make more for you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.